Hey, what's up, guys? Nick Whitey, right? Tech and Goody stuff on Twitch and YouTube. Check the description for all my information. Uh, we're going to be doing validate binary search tree. I'm at my grandma's house, but I did not want to miss a day of uploading. So, uh, medium problem given a binary search, given a binary tree, determine if it's a bi valid binary search tree. Okay, so we're given a root to a binary tree, and it's going to be called is valid BST. It's a Boolean method. We're going to return true or false, whether it is a valid binary search tree. So each node we can see has a value, a left child and a right child. Uh, leaf nodes, you know, like one and three here, right? The nodes at the very bottom, you could, see, you could see they don't have children, so their left and right uh, values would just be null. Okay. So we're going to start at the root, and um, yeah, we're just going to traverse the tree and make sure it's a valid binary search tree. It says, assume BST is defined as false. Left subtree of a node contains only nodes keys less than, wait, uh, a left subtree of a node contains only nodes with keys less than the node's key. Okay, uh, right subtree only contains only nodes with uh, keys greater than the node's key. So they're not allowing duplicates by this definition, so we're gonna have to check uh, against duplicates as well. So both the left and right subtrees must also be binary search trees. Okay, so what they're just saying is, if you guys don't know, this, uh, uh, this a BST, binary search tree, is just where the left children are less than the root uh, and the right children are greater. So one is less than two and three is greater than two. Uh, so that is correct. That is a valid binary search tree. So you would return true on this input here. But if you look at an input like this, where we have, you know, five, one, four, three, six, right? One is less than five. So the left is less than the root, which is good. But four is also less than five and four should be on the left in that case. So this is not valid and it gives you that exact answer right there. So how do we do this? Um, how do you traverse a tree, right? There's a few traversal methods. There's very popular ones, right? So there are, uh, you know, in order, pre-order, post-order, right? Those are popular traversal methods, and these are just ref uh, referring to the order you traverse the uh, root node, right? So out of three nodes, right, there's a root node, and then there's the left and right child, right? So the root node in pre-order, pre means first, so it would be root, then left, right. Post order, root is last, so left, right, root. In order, root is in the middle. So you got left, root, right. So we wanna do in order, because if you actually look at it, in order is a sorted version. So binary search uh, is done on sorted arrays. Binary search trees, you can kinda of see this traversal pattern as being sorted, you know? One, two, three, right? That's actually pretty much sorted. So from left to right is sorted in a, um, Left root right is going to be sorted in in order traversal. So we want to make sure that it is sorted, right? So that's why in order is kind of the one we're going to go with here. We can do this iteratively. Now there are some weird test cases in this problem, so we're going to have to actually use a double at some point in this problem to handle. Uh, they do like very high double uh, integer values, so we're going to be using a double. And the main idea here is we're going to use a stack. Here's the here's the main idea of this problem. How we're going to solve it? We're going to look at this root. We're going to traverse all the way down the left side. So we're going to go to the least, uh, you know, high, the smallest value node. Sorry, my dogs are barking. The smallest value node in the entire tree. And we're, as we traverse all the way down the left side of the tree, we're going to be pushing values onto a stack, parent node values. And then what we're going to do once we fill up this stack is we're going to start popping stack values off. So the stack's going to get filled with parent nodes. We're going to traverse all the way down the left side. And we're going to pop stack values off. And as we do this, we're going to just keep referencing, you know, more and more parent nodes and making sure that uh, the order is in place. So hopefully that kind of makes sense. Um, so here we go. We're just going to set up our stack of new, uh, tree nodes here. We're going to set up this double. This is going to be uh, left child val is equal to negative double dot max value. Got to use this because it's weird. Our main condition is while stack is not empty or, um, sorry, root is not equal to null. So we use this condition because uh, we're going to be filling up a stack, so while it's not empty, we're going to want to keep traversing, but also we want to have or root is not equal to null first because we need to enter the loop. There's going to be nothing on the stack originally, so the root isn't null, hopefully, 
if it is uh, if it is null, we're just going to return true anyway. That we'll just count that as a valid binary search tree. That's how the problem wants it. Um, but uh, other than that, it won't be null, right? Because then there is some kind of tree, so it will enter this loop. Now within here, we're going to say while root is not equal null, and we're going to make root null. We're going to traverse until root is null, but this won't break out of this loop because. Uh, we're going to fill up the stack within this loop, right? So we're going to traverse until root is null all the way down the left side, like I said, and fill the stack up with values, push values onto the stack, push them onto the stack, and these will be parent values, right? You could think of it as parent values because five is going to go on the stack, then one's going to go on the stack, or two is going to go on the stack, then one's going to go on the stack. In this tree example, it would be one on the stack, then two on the stack, then four on the stack, right? Um, so we're pushing these parent values onto the stack. Root equals root dot left. And we're traversing all the way down the left side. Now once we actually fill up the stack with all of these values, when we traverse all the way to the left, we can start popping values off the stack. And this is just going to be a parent value right here. Now we want to make sure that the parent value is definitely not less than the left child value. The left child value should always be less than the parent value. And we're going to return false. That's why we can return true outside of this loop because we're returning false. We're doing all of our checks to make sure that it's good within. We're trying to disprove within this loop that it is a valid binary search tree. So if we find any discrepancies here or we find an error in the binary in the structure of the binary search tree, we'll return false within. If we make it through this entire loop, we can return true, right? So the only check we really have to do is, okay, is the left child less than the parent? If that's true, we're going to be good, right? And at each level, right, we're traversing, we traversed all of the left nodes, right? We're always traversing the left nodes because within each iteration of this loop, we're checking, are we at the leftmost node we could possibly be at this current level? Um, and if not, we're going to keep going, putting on the stack, and we're always doing the parents because the parents are essentially left nodes anyway of, you know, the parent, like every left node is pretty much going to be some kind of parent in a bigger tree, right? Um, so... You know, the parents get popped off, so we got the parents covered, we got the left nodes covered. The only thing we don't have covered is we do have to traverse the right side at each level if there is a right side. So we just have to do this, uh, root is equal to root dot right at each level. And we do have to assign this left child val whenever we uh, do, at, right after we do this check, it's like the left, we, we go down the left, we put all the nodes on the stack, these are parent nodes, and... Um, we compare against the left child val. It's a min at first because it's going to be the very leftmost node anyway. So after it's the very leftmost node, we come around again, right? So if we put one and five on the stack or two and one on the stack, we look at one and it's going to be null versus one. It doesn't even matter. We have this negative double. So we're going to say, is one less, is uh, one less than the minimum value possible? No, obviously not. Okay, but then we go to two. Is two less than one? Because it's just going to be the previous value because we signed left child value to the previous root. So the root is the parent, right? It's going to be 1 and then is 1 less than this minimum value? No. And then we say, okay, left is equal, left child value is equal to 1. And then we go around and then 2 gets popped off the stack. Okay, is, one less, is 2 less than 1? No. And then you assign the next one. But you always have to check for the right node too. So when you get to 2, then you say, okay, root is equal to three okay so now you know what i mean and it keeps going so basically you put all these parent nodes onto the stack you pop up you uh you know each iteration of the loop you're making sure you're at the leftmost node within this loop filling up the stack making sure you're filling up the stack you're popping those parent values off making sure the left is less than the parent this is is parent less than the left and uh, whenever there's right notes to traverse, you make sure you go down those right paths too with this uh, line right here. And that's it. You just prove within the loop and you return true on the outside. So I'm on my grandma's. Sorry if it was a little bit uh, different than my videos. I don't even have my mic. I didn't, you know, maybe there was uh, interruptions or anything, but I don't think it was that bad. So I just want to make sure I post every day because I want to grow the channel. And uh, yeah, that's it. So please like and subscribe to help me do that. And, uh, you know, I'll be back in my house later today, and I'll be maybe streaming, working on some more videos for you guys. Thank you guys for watching. Comment below videos you want me to do. Ask me any questions you got. And, uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. See you in the next video. All right.